21 families try to come to grips with a senseless tragedy in Uvalde, Texas, as we learn new details about how the situation unfolded. Plus, how Wisconsin lawmakers are reacting to the gun violence in Texas and has been done to protect Wisconsinites from mass shootings. That's all ahead right now on News 3 Now at 10. These are some of the faces of the 19 school students and two teachers killed yesterday while at school in Texas. One victim described as the sweetest little boy that I've ever known and so full of life. Others love baseball, swimming, and dancing to TikTok videos. In other words, your everyday American kids. Their parents are dealing with a terrible new reality tonight, trying to adjust to a life that will never be the same. President Biden says he will travel to Uvalde in the coming days. This as new details are emerging about what happened before and during the shooting. Jason Allen has the latest. The South Texas town of Uvalde is mourning the deaths of 19 children and two teachers at Robb Elementary School. All of them were inside a single fourth grade classroom. The gunman has been identified as 18-year-old Salvador Ramos. Texas Governor Greg Abbott said the rampage began when he shot his grandmother. He then went to the school armed with a pair of semi-automatic rifles. There has been no criminal history identified yet. He may have had a juvenile record, but that is yet to be determined. There was no known mental health history. This is where families came to be reunited with students after the shooting. The families of all 21 of the victims have now been notified. Officials said that the remains of their loved ones will be released to them once autopsies are complete. Governor Abbott said the only warning came in a series of private Facebook messages sent Tuesday morning. The third post, maybe less than 15 minutes before arriving at the school, was I'm going to shoot an elementary school. Investigators spent Wednesday combing through the house where the gunman lived. Authorities believe he acted alone and say he legally purchased the weapons that he used. Jason Allen, CBS News, Uvalde, Texas. Tuesday's rampage ended when a Border Patrol agent fatally shot the gunman. The suspect's 66-year-old grandmother remains hospitalized in critical condition. During today's press conference in Texas, as the governor gave his opening remarks and turned to his lieutenant governor, it was interrupted by former U.S. Congressman Beto O'Rourke, and a yelling match ensued. Sit down. You're out of, you're out of line and an embarrassment. Hey, sit, sit down. Get out of line. was eventually removed from the auditorium. A recent CBS News poll found 54% of Americans want laws covering the sale of guns to be more strict. 30% said gun laws should be kept as they are. 16% want them to be less strict. The poll was conducted after the mass shooting in Buffalo a little over a week ago, but before yesterday's massacre. In Madison, some leaders at the Capitol are applying pressure to do something with gun control, but if recent history is any indicator, it will be an uphill climb. Back in 2019, Governor Evers called the legislature into special session to tackle the issue of gun control. He wanted lawmakers to consider universal background checks and a red flag law, but Republicans quickly gaveled in and out of that session without taking up any of those bills. And today, inside the U.S. Capitol, reporters caught up with Wisconsin U.S. Senator Ron Johnson to ask him about gun legislation, but he refused to answer. In the wake of this shooting, why not expand background checks, including uh, on firearms and on, on gun sales? Why not expand background checks? Well, the Dane County Sheriff's Office says it'll be increasing its presence at local schools this week in the wake of the shooting and the superintendent in the Madison District releasing a statement saying we all must do better in collaboration to provide the necessary laws and resources to keep our children and communities safe. 25 times. 25 times. That's how many school shootings the federal government has recorded in Wisconsin since 1970. Perhaps most sobering of all, five have happened this year alone, more than any other year to date. One solution brought up often is more school resource officers. Chief Barnes has been very clear he disagrees with the Madison School District decision to remove them, and he had thoughts on the laws themselves, saying thoughts and prayers won't cut it. We have a lot of things that are legal, 
but is it the right thing to do? We have to rise above that. And sometimes it requires an evolution of our thinking. What was written in, you know, 1789 may not be appropriate for 2022 unless we're okay with kids being killed. You're referencing the Second Amendment? Yes, I am. What Barnes is also advocating for is a presidential commission with experts from both sides of the issue to study how best to pass meaningful bipartisan reform. And if you would like to watch the entire interview with Chief Sean Barnes on these important issues, go to our website or download our Channel 3000 News app. And of course, as always, as new details emerge about the shooting, stay with News 3 Now and Channel 3000.com for updates on this continuing developing story into weather now. Rainy, even stormy in parts of the viewing area today. Gary has our certified most accurate forecast. Gary, maybe a little even fog I saw coming in late tonight. Yeah, now uh, things have kind of settled down. Uh, we've got uh, light winds and so some areas of fog are forming. Uh, Doppler track, you can see some showers and isolated thunderstorms out there. One of the storms uh, between about 6.30 and 7 actually brought some severe weather to parts of Rock County. A brief tornado touchdown uh, near uh, Afton and Newark in that area. But you you can see right now another little group of showers and some isolated thunderstorms lifting northward out of northern Illinois into southern Wisconsin. Uh, but right now the Madison area free of precipitation. It's mainly along uh, the Wisconsin Illinois state line. Fog though becoming an issue in some areas. Notice visibility down to a half mile in Monroe here in Madison, three miles at the airport, but it's a lot thicker up here on the hill on the uh, west side of town. Temperatures right now are at their highest for the day, at least here in Madison, 62. Janesville was at 70 earlier, they were at 66. But to the north and west, temperatures are mainly in the 50s. Notice the dew point temperatures, 60 degrees or above for Madison Southward. That's what's contributing to the fog. By tomorrow morning, temperatures will be in the lower 60s with clouds, fog, and perhaps some showers and isolated thunderstorms. Tomorrow, still a chance for some isolated showers and thunderstorms. High temperature at 72 degrees will dry out and turn warmer for the Memorial Day weekend. I'll have more on that in the forecast in just a few minutes. Gary, thank you. Dane County Sheriff's Office looking into a death in the small eastern Dane County town of York. 39-year-old Dora Gonzalez Zarate was found dead yesterday in a home on York Center Road. The medical examiner says the preliminary results from today's autopsy are still pending. Deputies are conducting some interviews and canvassing that area for some evidence. A second defendant charged in connection with the 2020 shooting that killed 11-year-old Anissa Scott takes a plea deal, pleading guilty to a pair of felony charges tied to that incident. 21-year-old Perion Carrion pleads guilty to charges of first-degree reckless homicide and attempted first-degree intentional homicide, both as party to a crime. Court documents show as part of the plea, prosecutors dropped a repeat offender enhancer. Carrion was arrested in mid-August of 2020, shortly after Anissa was taken off life support after she was shot in the head while sitting in a car on Madison east side. The complaints say Carrion was driving the vehicle at the time of the shooting. All three defendants reportedly shot at the vehicle. Former reality TV star Josh Duggar is sentenced to 12 years and seven months in prison on child porn charges. He was featured on the TLC show 19 Kids and Counting. He was arrested last year after a Little Rock police detective found child porn files were being shared by a computer traced to Duggar. His attorney says he has maintained his innocence and that he intends to appeal. New tonight at 10, members of the Wisconsin Elections Commission were supposed to pick a new chairperson today, but that was put off after the meeting started with an unexpected surprise. Republican Dean Knudsen announced his resignation ahead of the vote. Knudsen will step down once his successor is appointed. While making his resignation, he took aim at those in his own party who continue to claim widespread election fraud in Wisconsin in 2020. Two of my core values are to practice service above self and to display personal integrity. And to me, that integrity demands acknowledging the truth, even when the truth is painful. Commissioner Knudsen added it has become clear that he cannot continue to represent Republicans on the commission. Following his resignation, commissioners voted 5-1 to one to postpone naming a new chair until June 10th. A Wisconsin man accused of participating in last year's Capitol insurrection pleads not guilty to numerous charges. 23-year-old Riley Casper of Pulaski is accused of pepper spraying law enforcement officers during the riot and faces charges including assaulting officers. About 800 defendants have now been charged with federal crimes related to the insurrection. About 300 have pled guilty. The state attorney general Josh Call announcing the next step today to strengthen Wisconsin's response to sexual assaults. A new statewide system to track evidence kits went live today. To be able to say, here is what is happening with my case, here is what is happening with the evidence in my case, is vital 
for survivors to feel a sense of control and a sense of empowerment on how to move forward. And they say improving the processing speed and tracking of sexual assault kits has been a priority for the Department of Justice as the state works to eliminate a backlog in testing and also prevent any new ones. New tonight, Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt signed one of the nation's strictest anti-abortion measures into law. The new law bans abortions from fertilization and allows private citizens to sue abortion providers. The law prohibits abortions at any stage of pregnancy, allowing for a few exceptions that include medical emergencies. Abortion is permitted in cases of rape or incest, but it has to have been previously reported to law enforcement. Also today, the state of Rhode Island is now legalizing the use of marijuana. Democratic Governor Dan McKee signed that bill today. It makes possession and home growing of cannabis legal for adults 21 and older. The drug can also be sold in stores starting on December 1st. McKee says the law brings together the priorities of ensuring marijuana legalization is quote equitable controlled and safe. Nestle teaming up with the federal government to help ease the baby formula shortage. The U.S. Air Force flew in another shipment of formula from Germany today. Tonight that's at the Nestle facility outside Allentown, Pennsylvania. It'll be delivered to hospitals, WIC families and retailers across the country. Specifically it's for children who are allergic to cow's milk. And still ahead tonight how the UW is trying to get fans excited for the upcoming football season about a hundred days away. Plus we'll take you to a celebration tonight honoring hundreds of local students. Students. Stay with us. of Honda. The brand owners are calling the most fun to drive. Hurry into a local Honda dealer where new vehicles are arriving daily. Hey everybody, who's coming to the big show? It's Fetty! Saturday, June 11th at Ho-Chunk Gaming and Casino in Wisconsin Dells. An all-day outdoor event. Come out for classic cars, trucks, and motorcycles during the day and stay for the concert at night. Featuring country superstar Trace Atkins, Runaway Jew, The Mascot Theory, and Bev Killian. All benefiting heat and housing for heroes. Visit VetAWI.com for details and to purchase tickets for Trace Atkins. What can Sono Bello do for you? How about a new shape? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. New confidence. I can see a huge difference with this. New you. I can wear a little black dress. I feel sexy. With Sono Bello, you can remove stubborn body fat permanently in just one visit. Don't wait a moment longer to reveal the new you. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation with Sono Bello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and find out how you can get $250 off. Sono Bello uses TriSculpt Micro Laser Liposuction to remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently for incredible transformations in just one visit. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Call 1 888 622 8360 or go to sonobello.com. Whether you have a design emergency or you just want to shop the best furniture showroom in town, you need dwellings. Madison's best kept secret for design and furniture. Shop our fabulous showroom, Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg. Tomorrow, Badger football is building up excitement for its fall kickoff. How you can get in on the fun. Plus, your next chance to win Summerfest tickets with Question of the Day. And we may not be done with the rain either. Join us tomorrow morning from 4.30 to 7. Watching News 3 Now at 10. And 
And there goes SpaceX's Falcon 9 Transporter 5 launching from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida today to a low Earth orbit. After delivering its payload, the rocket returned to Earth and successfully landed about nine minutes later. Well, it's a beloved celebration in the Big Apple marked by the arrival of Naval and Coast Guard ships. It's the 34th annual Fleet Week. Hundreds of servicemen and women in the armed forces manned the rails of their ships as they sailed into the city. Among the ships in today's parade, the USS Milwaukee. Graduation for most high school seniors is still a couple weeks out, but some students in our area are getting to celebrate their success a little early. At Madison College's Truex campus today, seniors from all four Madison high schools took part in College Decision Day. Tahalil Modine was there and has more. It's an annual tradition for students participating in a college readiness program through the Boys and Girls Club and MMSD. Organizers say the ceremony is about giving students a moment of recognition as they take on their future. My name is Estrella and I'm attending Bradley University. A declaration to give voice to their success. To let everyone know, so they know it's real, that they are coming. My name is Diana and I'll be attending Madison College. Dozens of Madison School's seniors announcing their plans to attend college before an audience of family and supporters. And it's a day where they kick down the doors and the barriers that have been in front of them and they announce to the world that they're prepared to be successful. These students are participants in the AVID and TOPS college readiness programs for underserved Hi, communities. Awa. I'm going to W. Madison to study neuroscience and international business. In terms of applying for scholarships and just staying on track um, into getting into college, they do so many check-ins with you that it's almost hard to not get into college. Almost 80% of those taking the stage will be the first in their families to go to college. I have like mixed emotions, like I'm scared, but I'm ready to start new things. It means that I have broken out of a shell and I have stepped out of my comfort zone to be who I want to be. At the podium, feeling empowered. Hi, my name's Anna. I will be attending UW-Madison. And taking a moment to acknowledge years of hard work. They don't have that tradition of conversations in their household about what college looks like. It's only through the uh, adults and experiences uh, that they've been able to get um, in our schools and the Boys and Girls Club and through our Avatops partnership that they've been able to create a vision of their future. And looking forward to what comes next. We're all going our separate ways, but, you know, it's exciting just to be together this one last time to, uh, you know, just celebrate each other. Program leaders say 100% of this year's participants are headed to colleges across the country. Since it, beginning in 2007, the AVID TOPS program has grown to serve more than 1,000 students annually. Tahalil, thank you. Tomorrow marks 100 days to the start of UW football season, and Bucky's already working to get fans ready. The team hosting a scavenger hunt. UW staff members will be putting 100 mini Badger helmets in parks in Appleton, Eau Claire, Madison, Racine, and Kenosha. Those helmets will have code on them that can then be scanned for prizes ranging from game tickets to gift cards to footballs autographed by head coach Paul Christ. Most of the times they have to show their appreciation for us by coming to us, coming to games, coming to Camp Randall, coming to the Cole Center. This is a chance for us to go out and say thanks to the fans where they are in their communities. And they'll announce the parks tomorrow where these things will be. It'll start at 6 a.m. And season ticket sales also open up tomorrow. The season opener September 3rd at Camp Randall against Illinois State. And Gary Canalti joins us now. And you have some pictures from the storm damage. Yeah, you know, we had a, that tornado warning that popped mm -hmm. up right around 630. And uh, sure enough, there was a brief tornado touchdown there. These pictures, courtesy of Steve Stageman. This is uh, right along Highway 213, about uh, two miles northeast of Newark. You can see uh, damage to a house that was under construction, some trees down, uh, some uh, roofing material blown into fields, and some trees down in the distance uh, from the National Weather Service. You can see all the reports were pretty much right along Highway 213 in southwestern Rock County. Beloit is down here, uh, so uh, Newark is just to the southwest. And here's the brief tornado touchdown along with some wind damage reports. You can see the uh, tornado reported about 650 uh, near Paddock and Finley Roads, but also some uh, wind damage reports. Some of this might be from the tornado. Some of it might have been some downburst winds in the vicinity of the tornado. Not a lot of major damage, but again, that's why we interrupt programming for tornado warnings. Uh, you know. 
those tend to be uh, damage makers, especially uh, when there's just even a small rotation. Sometimes you get a tornado to spin up briefly. Now we have another line of showers and some isolated thunderstorms lifting northward from northern Illinois into southern Wisconsin. The air is pretty humid here in the southern part of the state. The northern and central parts of the state are still kind of cool, but with that humidity, it's also leading to some areas of fog. Three things you need to know, know in the forecast. We'll see more showers tonight into tomorrow, maybe a few isolated thunderstorms as well. Then dry weather returns from Friday through Sunday and then possibly even uh, Monday Memorial Day through Wednesday of next week. We have just slight chances for rain there. Uh, high temperatures will be in the lower 80s by Sunday and near 90 for Memorial Day and for Tuesday. In fact, for Memorial Day weekend, looking for highs mid 70s on Saturday, partly sunny skies. For Sunday, the winds pick up out of the south. We'll see winds in the 15 to 25 mile per hour range. High temperatures around 83 and then for Memorial Day itself, a high near 90. You factor in the uh, humidity uh, and uh, you probably talking about wind, uh, heat index uh, reading somewhere between about 90 and 95 degrees. High temperatures today, generally pretty cool across our part of the Midwest, especially up to the north. There was warmer air that made it into northern Illinois and it was that boundary, that warm front just lifting into southern Wisconsin that was enough to spin up that tornado. Uh, you can see temperatures farther to the south, mainly in the 70s and 80s. But as we take a look at weather track, you can see these bands of showers and isolated thunderstorms rotating around an area of low pressure aloft uh, in the central part of the country. Here's that warm front near the Wisconsin Illinois state line, but a couple of cold fronts are to the south and west, and eventually one of those fronts will come through here sometime uh, tomorrow afternoon and put an end to the thunderstorm activity. Before that, we'll look for a high temperature of about 72 degrees and some showers or perhaps an isolated thunderstorm. On future track, you can see a couple of waves of showers and isolated thunderstorms lifting north. Low tonight, 61. High temperature tomorrow, 72 in the afternoon, but that wind shift to the north will drop temperatures back down into the lower 50s by Friday morning. And then Friday, we'll be back to some sunshine in the afternoon. High temperatures will be close to 70. Rainfall amounts probably in the tenth to uh, one tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain unless you get caught under a heavier thunderstorm. But definitely a big warm up starting this weekend. 76 Saturday, 83 Sunday, and 89 on Memorial Day. Also near 90 on Tuesday. And then temperatures mid 80s on Wednesday. Some thunderstorm chances about Thursday and more seasonable temperatures toward the end of the week. And coming up in sports, Madison College Baseball hit the road to Oklahoma this afternoon. The two things they brought with them that they couldn't pack. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. This Thursday, one day only, earn a 40 cent high V fuel saver when you spend $60. That's a 40 cent fuel saver. This Thursday, one day only. Scan the QR code or check out hyvdeals.com for more deals. I know you want to leave me, but I refuse to let you go. Ain't Too Proud is a celebration that brings the audience to its feet. Ain't Too Proud to be. of the Temptations at Overture Center June 14th through 19th. Tickets at Overture.org. At Machinery Row Bicycles, you'll find bicycle store quality electric e-bikes from Trek, Electra, Felt, Giant, and more. Trek offers the best-selling e-bike in America, Trek Verve Plus, under $2,500. At Machinery Row Bicycles, you'll find fat e-bikes, mountain e-bikes, road e-bikes, bike path e-bikes, and more. Free services included. The place to shop for your new e-bike is Machinery Row Bicycles, the most beautiful bicycle store in the world. Dude, great ride. Right? This Silverado keeps me connected and in control. And this touch screen is my command center. Uh. Hmm. My command center. The 2022 Silverado LT. Find new control. Find new roads. Very well qualified buyers can get 1.9% financing on all 2022 Silverado 1500 pickups. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Don't get stuck with internet and TV that costs more and does less. Set yourself free with Spectrum and get it all from one provider. Get Spectrum Internet with enough speed for all your devices all at once with speeds of 200 megabits. Whoa. 
That's fast. Plus, get a free modem and free desktop security to keep you safe online. Get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month. Call 833-605-4999. And don't get stuck with the same old TV. Multiply your screens. Spectrum TV with a free Spectrum TV app lets you watch here, there, and everywhere. Stream live TV, sports, news, and more on any device. Plus, access up to 85,000 on-demand titles. Get Spectrum TV from $49.99 a month. Call 833-605-4999. Don't get stuck paying more for less. Pick and choose the services you need. Spectrum Internet or TV. Or get them both for $49.99 a month each. All with no contracts. Call 833-605-4999. This Thursday, one day only, earn a 40 cent high V fuel saver when you spend $60. That's a 40 cent fuel saver. This Thursday, one day only. Scan the QR code or check out hyvdeals.com for more deals. The Madison College baseball team left for Oklahoma this afternoon, and it's becoming a home away from home for this group. This is the program's 11th trip to the World Series, and as Jordan Reed found out, the Wolfpack are bringing two things with them, experience and confidence. It wasn't just a goal for Madison College. It was an expectation. Make it back to the World Series and finish what they started. We felt like we had unfinished business left and needed, and being able to go back for a redemption is uh, something that our, was our goal the whole year. With several players back from last season's championship run, the Wolfpack head into the tournament with plenty of experience and confidence. This is the most experience we've ever taken back. So I think them having been there, Right now, it's cool because they know what they're walking into. Our nerves are going to be settled for sure going in. Unlike last year, we lost our first game. Nerves got to us a little bit. Uh, this year, I think we're confident in ourselves and our ability. Which they hope ends with winning the program's first title in 25 years. For us, it would be huge. Uh, I feel like our program deserves it. And the first is moving up to Division Two. This team's awesome. You know, this team is battle-tested and ready for anything. And, you know, honestly, I think the season that we had kind of proved that. And I think we can really build off that head into this national level tournament. Everyone on this team wants it more for Coach Davenport more than for themselves. It would mean the world probably to everybody on this team, so really excited to get down there. And this time, finish the job. In Madison, Jordan Reed, News 3 Sports. Rubber match between the Brewers and the Pirates. Crew were down 1 0, but came alive in the seventh. First, it's Rowdy Telez bouncing one off the wall and left for an RBI double. That ties the game up at one. And then last night's hero, Tyrone Taylor, does it again. No home run this time. A sack fly still gets the job done. Brewers win the game and the series 2 1, the final. The Packers released kickoff times for their three preseason games, and all three will be night games. Green Bay heads to San Francisco on August 12th for a 7.30 kick. For the following week, they host New Orleans at 7 o'clock, and they close out the preseason with a road trip to Kansas City with, you guessed it, a 7 o'clock start time. And it's been a good couple of days if you're Tony Granato. First, Jack Gorniak announced he's returning for a fifth year at Wisconsin. Then it was Dominic Mersch, and today Brock Hallfield let the crease creatures know he'll be back for one more year of Badger hockey. We're back at it's the Portage Furniture Store's customer appreciation sale on now. With a huge in-stock inventory of top brands for every room in your home. Including all new power lift chairs and always free delivery. The Portage Furniture Store's customer appreciation sale going on now. Enjoy your summer outdoors with 11% off everything at Menards. From swings and slides to climbing walls and much more. Playstar play sets have it all. Assemble it with ease in just a few hours. Now all 11% off. Keep your garden beds protected or small pets contained with no dig fencing. The lightweight, multi-purpose fence is quick and easy to install and can be configured to whatever your needs may be. Now just $10.99 each after rebate. When an inland hurricane called the derecho cut a path through the Midwest, we learned some lessons. We learned that most buildings cannot withstand 140 mile per hour winds, not to mention most oak trees. We learned that when your roof is gone or there's a tree in your living room, even eight hours is too long to wait. But most of all, we learned that in hardship, people take care of each other. And that has been our silver lining. Look, I know them all, they're friends. But Kevin Nicholson's not establishment, not of the donor class. 
He's just running to get things done. It's the Marine in him. Kevin organized No Better Friend into Wisconsin's most effective conservative group. Works fast behind the scenes. He exhausts me. Get Kevin in that governor's chair, and the conservative changes others only promise safe streets, secure elections will actually happen. Save hundreds on top appliances and grills during the Memorial Day sale at Grand Appliance. Shop our unbeatable deals on top brands like GE, including this large capacity top load washer with antimicrobial components for just $6.98. This convection range with air fry for just $9.48. Or step up to a premium GE profile kitchen and get up to $2,000 back. Visit GrandAppliance.com or your local showroom today. Grand Appliance, the appliance experts. It's BOGO Thursdays at hy V this Thursday. Buy one, get one free on Oscar Mayer hot dogs. Buy one, get one free on Sara Lee whole grain white bread. Buy one standard nori sushi roll, get one free. And buy one, get one free on hy V tostados, Thursday only. For more ways to save on hundreds of items every day at hy V, check out our monthly catalog, our weekly ad, and scan the QR code to visit hy Deals.com for even more deals. It's the Portage Furniture Store's customer appreciation sale on now. With a huge in-stock inventory of top brands for every room in your home, including hundreds of Lazy Boy recliners and always free delivery. The Portage Furniture Store's customer appreciation sale going on now. Every day, News 3 Now investigates. Finally tonight, the moment Southern Colorado waits for every year, the Thunderbird flyover after the Air Force Academy graduation. This year, more than 1,000 cadets are now second lieutenants in both the Air Force and Space Force. Of the graduating cadets, 400 were selected to be pilots and 100 were selected to serve in the Space Force. What a moment that has to be a 10, huh? Blue yeah. skies over Colorado. Yeah, take, take a look at our skies now. This is uh, the view from the Edgewater Sky Cam. You can barely make it out there because of the fog. Uh, some showers, a couple of isolated thunderstorms moving in. There's the visibility. It's a mile right now at the airport, Madison. Very thank you. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. Do something good, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.